G'day guys, last week I showed you how to make this height adjustable mast for your Boxing Cobra. That's the Culus Pro Spring Boxing Cobra. Now, this Pro Spring requires a fair bit of weight if you're making a stand with weights. You need at least 60 to 80 pounds of weight and you need a plate that's at least two foot long. Now, this week I'm actually going to try and install it into concrete. So I'm going to bolt a flange to a concrete floor. In fact, I'm going to go to a fight gym and see if I can install it there. <laughs> now guys, before I head off to the gym, I just wanted to let you know that to bolt a flange to concrete, you need to use diner bolts. Now, I actually tried screws with plugs. It did not work. The plugs just came straight out after a couple of punches. So these Dyna bolts is what you want. And you want the Dyna bolts to be at least 40 mils. And these are eight mil diameter, so they fit. This is a three quarter inch flange if you're just using a three quarter inch pipe. If you're using a one inch pipe to a three quarter inch pipe with a height adjustment, then you just use a one inch flange, but you can use the same Dyna bolts they fit as well. So these are the ones I'm actually using at the gym. So let's go to the gym and install this baby. All right guys, I'm at the Urban Muay Thai gym. Beautiful gym, they've got a nice ring there. Now I've got this flooring all over and it's really thick padded flooring, but underneath that is concrete. So we're gonna find a little corner where we can pull back the matting and see if we can install a one inch flange specifically for this bag. Let's give it a go. Okay, so I'm using a one inch flange because I've got the height adjustable uh, pipes, which I showed in the previous video. It begins with a one inch pipe, so a one inch flange. So we found an area here where we've peeled back some of the padding and we'll cut out a hole. But basically, we've bolted the flange, the one inch flange into the concrete using these diner bolts. These are 40 mil long and they're eight mil diner bolts. So I'm gonna screw in my punching bag with the height adjustable mast. Screw it nice and firm and that's ready to go. All right guys, well, we've put the mat back down and it's just a little hole here. This is fairly flat. It's out of the way. You can take it out easily and then just have a little plug that goes in there if you that's what you want it. All right guys, well here it is in the gym. It's out of the way. The floor is nice and neat. And it's nice and stable. How's that? So hopefully that solution should work well and that flange will not come undone. But I'll keep checking at the gym from time to time and I'll keep you guys posted. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you tick the bell so you don't miss out when I do make an update. Next week, I'm gonna reveal something incredible, a base using suction cups, a very, very unique design that I've come up with that makes it rock solid. So if you can't afford to bolt it to your concrete floor, you don't have a concrete floor in your garage or you don't have a garage, but you have tile floors, there's a base that I'm gonna show next week that is incredible. So stay around for that and I'll see you guys in the next video. Now guys, just a quick update on the production of the Cobra Pro Spring, the Culus Pro Spring that is coming at the end of this month. Unfortunately, it's been moved back a couple of weeks due to production, whatever issues, I don't know. It's But guys, hang in there because it is coming at the end of this month. So not long to wait now. If you still haven't ordered it, make sure you do because there's got to be limited numbers. Those of you who have ordered it, it's, it's there, it's reserved for you guys. So, not long to wait now, it's on its way.